Hello Trail Travelers, it is Carrie with Trail Traveler of course, and today we are somewhere. We are out just outside of Shrine Pass. The road down there, you can see another car down there. That's Shrine Pass going up here. This is um, outside of Red Cliff, which is over by Minturn, which is kind of by Vail. So to just kind of give you a general area. This trail that we're getting ready to start is called Benson's Cabin. And I don't know if that's Benson's Cabin or if that was Benson's Cabin back there or if Benson's Cabin is up the road. But this is uh, supposed to be a 5-5 according to Trails Off-Road. So we're going to go and hit this and uh, see what it's all about. So stay right there. We'll be right back. So doing a little research here. The uh, trail starts off at the ruins of Benson Cabin, right there. And basically, as soon as you come into this, you are getting into a long rock climb. So I'm going to drop her into four low and manual, and we'll see what this climb is all about. Now, this should be an, I believe this is an out and back. Um, it doesn't look like there's anywhere that this goes at the end of it. Uh, for navigation today, we are using the new Trails Off-Road app. Absolutely love this app. Um, it, it's, it's got good, uh, nice waypoints with good information. It tells you a lot of interesting stuff. And uh, sometimes a little history. So yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan of the new Trails Off-Road app. I think it's probably the best one out there. And it showed this trail when nothing else did. Uh, the, none of the books that we have have anything about this trail. So we uh, are going completely off the Trails Off-Road app to figure out where we're going. And I mean, this should be, I mean, it's already starting off to be, you know, kind of a nice, interesting challenge. And the road we were on to get here is called Shrines Pass. And that was amazingly full of Subarus and a couple Porsche Cayennes of all things. So it's kind of a strange uh, mix of vehicles going up that. But wow, look at this. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see a single Subaru. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. But we got a nice, cool little rock climb right here. Oops. And I just stuck myself into some kind of a hole. There we go. All right. This looks like... This could be fun. No. Well, that was definitely a fun little obstacle there. Had to kind of turn the front tires back and forth until they found some grip. And then all of a sudden, the whole thing lifted up and went right over the top. So, just because you get stuck on something doesn't necessarily mean you're completely stuck. Sometimes you just need to wiggle things around a little bit to get things going and to find some traction. This next little rock climb here presents a little bit of a challenge. I gotta find a line that 
is going to allow me to crawl up this without scraping on things. So I think I'm going to keep a right tire in that dirt and this is probably going to get a little off camber in a couple spots, but we're just going to kind of crawl up it and see how it feels. Okay, got thrown off a little bit. Okay, those rocks were not as cooperative as I would have hoped, but we got up and over it. Next, we're gonna hit this first switchback and we'll see how this is. Wow, and right away we've got a nice big rock here. And we're gonna pick up a few more pinstripes. Oh, this trail is narrow. You are going to get pinstriping going through here. There's no way around it. I mean, not deep gouging, all this will buff right out. Uh, but if you're one of those that's like, no, I don't want to get any possible scratches on my Jeep, then don't do this trail. It's very simple. There's no way to go through this without hitting branches on both sides. But it's just kind of wide enough to actually get through. Okay, it looks like we have a little climb going into a left-hand turn. And so far, every time we've come around some turn, Oops. yeah, there's been something there. And this is a big rock right here. I'm gonna take this and get my driver tire up on this rock so I can maximize my ground clearance there and I shouldn't get too much of a roll angle yep I only hit about 12 degrees going up over that so wasn't too bad but if you would have hit that at the wrong angle that uh, would have got pretty tippy Well, I think Trails Off Road is pretty dead on, We're calling this uh, a five. You can do this in a stock Jeep with the right lines. You want all terrain tires. Uh, I wouldn't do this on street tires. You're just not gonna have any traction. And it is gonna help tremendously to air down to get up over some of these obstacles. Uh, I'm running, uh, today we're running 15 in the front. 14 in the back so it's pretty much kind of a standard setup for us and as you can see I mean there's a few spots Bikes. where uh, we're gonna slide a little bit but otherwise not too bad Wow this is narrow and uh, we actually had to deal with a side-by-side -side and two motorcycles 
motorcycles weren't too bad, but the side-by-side, -side, that did get a little tricky. Fortunately, there was a spot that was just big enough for them to pull into and us to get by. This is a very narrow road. And uh, like I said, you, <laughs> if you're afraid of pinstriping, don't do this road. Very simple. I mean, it, it's really freaking narrow. If you don't mind, then great. Have at it. It's a really fun trail. Side by sides, motorcycles, ATVs, all that. Good to go. No problem. But in a Jeep, yeah, we're a little on the wide side. This probably won't feel too tippy in here, but it'll get our flex on a little bit. Going through here, I do have my sway bar disconnected just to uh, give us more articulation. And I've got to say, the uh, all the new uh, metal cloak control arms and the JKS springs, man, does that feel so much better up here. What do we have here? Another switchback type of turn. Pretty sharp turn here. It's definitely gonna feel a little on the tippy side. Not, not bad, not bad. Well, we're going right into some little whoops. Nothing crazy. Now we did stop and talk to the motorcyclists and apparently we're probably going to get stopped up here with some trees that went down. So we'll have to see what we can do there. We may or may not be able to make it uh, all the way to the end, but we'll see. It's kind of what adventuring is all about. You never know especially on a trail like this, where there, it's not in any books, it wasn't on any of the other apps, but it was in the Trails Off-Road app, and uh, we were here, so it was worth checking out. Well, according to the Trails Off-Road guide, we are coming up on the end of the trail. We'll see what we have up ahead here. Well, the end. looks like it's pretty much the end of the road for us. There's really nowhere to, to go from here, which is what I expected because this is the end of the trail. So uh, I was gonna go up here and back down. Okay. So we're just gonna come around here. This will also give you a kind of a view of the area and then we are going to back down uh, in order to get turned around, but we're going to stop for lunch and... Uh, we will go on that side to look. <laughs> what is that? At least I will go. Then once, yeah, after lunch, we get to head back down the hill. Well, what goes up must come down, and that's especially true here on Benson Cabin Trail. We're working our way down. We just got it in a low gear so we can just kind of cruise going downhill. Katarina's actually walking along the side trying to find, you guessed it, more mushrooms. This place is covered in mushrooms. I, it's insane. Now, one thing I'll say about this trail is some of the spots on here are really off camber. And now if, I, I say that phrase a lot, and that means your roll, your left and right tippiness. And some of the spots in here have been, um, according to the gauge inside the Jeep, 19 degrees. I just hit another 19. And 
you start getting into the the low 20s and it feels really really tippy now you get used to it if you do it enough times but <laughs> there's no getting around that this trail definitely feels uh, tippy now this is gonna feel even worse because we're pitching down while at an 18 degree roll so this will feel really really awkward we're well within the safety margins of the Jeep but that doesn't keep your stomach from uh, dropping a little bit when you're going around a turn like this and so just take it nice and smooth nice and easy and all of a sudden it'll start flattening out just like that and we are around the turn so while it will be kind of freaky you know the first few times you just kind of have to roll through it and if you're not sure get a spotter have this someone go out and just tell you what's going on with your tires you're still coming down you're still coming down all right you're going to start coming back up again right there and then you you can have a little bit more confidence just by having a better sense of what's going on all right this is the second to the last switchback and this was one where i kind of had to do a turn just right to get up on top of a rock to keep it from getting too tippy and so now we're coming down it and not too bad we got a 15 degree pitch with a 15 degree roll so it's so again just one of those things just got to take nice and smooth just ease your way down and I already see the trail right there nice and flat so we'll get straightened out and we're good to go well this I'm I'm quite sure that with the lighting and the camera and everything that it's not doing this uh, this view any justice but it is just beautiful today uh, we do have some clouds coming in so I don't know we might get a little rain tonight the the prediction says there's no rain uh, you know I even checked just a little while ago still says there's no rain but there are uh, some pretty thick clouds pulling in overhead it's Colorado so it is Colorado you cannot trust anything when it comes to do with the weather other than you can't trust the weather so that's about it we're still working our way down here on Benson cabin we're now at that really long uh, rock climb now descent and I'm just dropping it in manual one and just laying it kind of coast down the hill here at a few miles an hour otherwise I'd be really heating up my brakes or going way too fast so at manual one in here we're doing about five miles an hour at 3,000 rpms so a nice reasonable pace to work our way down If I went up into two or three, or drive even, which would be really bad, uh, I would just be standing on the brake. And you just don't want your brakes to heat up because if they get too hot, you'll get brake fade and they're gonna let go and you would end up flying down a hill like this, which would probably not end well. So put it into low gear, make sure you're in a low range. This is not gonna be the same if I'm in four high. That's the same gearing as, as two wheel drive. So you gotta be in four low and manual and you'll just cruise down. Now I don't mean manual as in the stick shift. That's just moving the stick over from my, on my automatic over to the M side and adjusting it up and down. And right now we're sticking with manual one just to keep this nice slow 
pace going down the hill. We are back at this little staircase thing and coming up it, I went pretty wide on the other side. So this time I'm gonna go wide on passenger side. And with the predictability of winning lottery numbers, it has started to rain. Um, hopefully it'll let up. But we're going down this other little rock garden. Some of these are pretty steep. You got about a foot drops on some of them. But we'll just take them nice and slow. Keep from bouncing too much. That was Benson Cabin, and that is Benson Cabin. That is Benson Cabin Road. Again, we are right off Shrine, Shrine something or other. <laughs> I can't remember now. Uh, Shrine Trail, uh, beautiful trail that we were just on. Kind of fun, kind of tippy, has its moments, uh, but it's, uh, it's not too bad, so something to uh, maybe have some fun with. Don't go up here with a bunch of people. Not a good idea <laughs> because a bunch of people is going to be a problem because there's nowhere to go on this trail. So we had a lot of fun by ourselves. We did run into some people with motorcycles and a side-by-side. -side. That made it a little on the interesting side, but overall not too bad. So right now, we're heading back to camp because tomorrow we're doing Holy Cross. That's right, Holy Cross, can't wait, haven't done it in over a year. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Optimus has some nice upgrades since the last time. We went from 37s to 38s on the Milestar Patagonias. We're full metal cloak underneath. That is gonna be super cool. We've got the JKS Dual Right Springs, should be, a really fun time tomorrow. So watch for that video here on Trail Traveler. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the trail. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.